Hi, Sai Uchinanchu and Uchinanchu supporters. Rob Kajiwara here. Got a little bit of breaking news. Lieutenant General Jerry P. Martinez has provided a comment about our petition to the White House to save Hinoko. Keep in mind, though, I did not address this petition to the U.S. military. I addressed it to the U.S. government, specifically President Trump. So I don't, I don't really care too much about what the U.S. military says in response. I care about what the U.S. government says, and especially what President Trump says. Okay, but in case you missed it, let's take a look. I think there was, I think, 200,000 signatures were collected and delivered to the White House about stopping the transfer to Hinoko. I know that this question was uh, was raised earlier, but you mentioned that there was an agreement between U.S. and the Japanese governments about uh, Hinoko. But once again, as far as U.S. forces are concerned, how would you like to explain to the people who p petitioned for stopping the transfer to Hinoko? Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for that question. Look, people petition for many things all over the world for many causes. And I can't address every single thing that somebody petitions. But what I can tell you is that we are actively and greatly engaged with the governor of Japan to find a solution to the Futenma replacement. And um, we've worked hard with the government. I think the government has worked hard with the citizens of Okinawa and the government in Okinawa to try to resolve the issue. Um, but it is a contentious issue. Uh, and I, I think you could also find a bunch of signatures on the other side that see good reasons why we should uh, move those aircraft out of Futenma and move them up north to Hinoko. So my hope is that the, the dialogue will continue, um, that we can, we can come to some type of a solution that, that works for everybody. Um, but this is an issue, really, uh, that the government of Japan is going to work with the, with the government officials in Okinawa to resolve. So there you go. The lieutenant general is saying that the U.S. government is working with the Japan government about this issue. Okay? He didn't say they're working with the Okinawan government. He said they're working with the Japan government on this issue. And then the Japan government, he said, is working with Okinawa government. Okay? But look, look, this is how it's working. U.S. US and Japan talking about Okinawa issues. Not, t not including Okinawa at all. Okay, they're not including Okinawa. There's, <laughs> there, two two nations are talking about an issue for another nation, Okinawa, and this this is the problem. This is the crux of the problem here, is that Okinawa, o Okinawans' right, democratic right to self determination, is being ignored, and this is what really needs to be fixed. Okinawa has to reassert its right to self-determination. Okinawa was an independent country up until 1879, when Japan illegally annexed it. Japan went on to annex many other countries, including Korea and China and many more. After World War II ended, all those countries received their independence back except for Okinawa, because Okinawa is just being used for military bases. That's it. Okinawans, we have our own unique history, culture, languages, and identity. We have the right to reestablish our self-determination. And that's what needs to happen in order to protect Okinawa and in order to protect Hinoko. We all know that the Japanese government under Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is extremely prejudiced against Okinawans. They don't listen to Okinawans' opinions at all. In fact, they often do the opposite of what Okinawa is requesting. They violate the rights and the opinions of Okinawans. The Okinawan government has already outlawed the construction at Hinoko, and yet the Japanese government just ignores it completely, and they continue with the construction anyway. This is prejudice. It is racial prejudice. The Japanese government is racially prejudiced against Okinawa. So no, Mr. Lieutenant General, the Japanese government is not working with the Okinawan government at all. Not at all. This just shows that the U.S. military 
deeply misunderstands Okinawa and Okinawan issues. And I do have to point out that no, there is no other side to this petition, Mr. Lieutenant General. There's no other side to the petition. No one on this petition has signed saying that they want the new military base at Hinoko. No one, not a single person, zero. There, if you want to start a petition for people who do want the base, go right ahead and do that. But there is none. There, there's no petition about that that I know of because it's not popular. People don't want it. You can go ahead and start a petition for the military base if you want to, but not too many people are going to sign it, okay? Because people are overwhelmingly against this, especially the Okinawan people. 80% of the Okinawan people are against that base. So there you go. Those are my comments uh, and thoughts about the Lieutenant General's uh, comments about the petition to the White House. Again, he's just a military commander. He's not the U.S. government. He's not a government official. I specifically address this petition to U.S. government officials and to President Trump particularly uh, because the U.S. military does not respond to the people. It's the government officials who respond to the people. The military only responds to the, the government. Okay, so the people have to go to the government and then the government talks to the military and the military does whatever the government tells them to. So if the government tells them to stop the base at Hinoko, they'll, they'll stop, okay? But it has to come from the government. So there you go. Those are my thoughts. Again, I, I have to emphasize the fact that um, Okinawans really need to reestablish their self-determination in order to be taken seriously because the U.S. doesn't take them seriously because they um, the U.S. Go government just thinks that uh, Okinawa is just another prefecture in Japan. And they think this is a domestic Japanese issue when it's not. It's really not. It's an international issue. It's a human rights issue. Okay, but the U.S. Um, is only going to respect and listen to Okinawa if Okinawa is independent. If Okinawans establish their right to self-determination, that's the only way the U.S. and the world really is going to listen and respect Okinawa. That's it. So there you go. That's my opinion. If you like this video please remember to give it a thumbs up uh please <laughs> subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more of my videos uh please feel free to leave us a comment down below um doing these things just helps us promote our message across youtube thanks again for watching i'll see you guys later mataya